Hi, I'm Lindsay Hall and I'm part of the church family at St Anne's Chasetown. I wonder what you have been most afraid of during this time. There's so much that seems scary and out of our control. There's so much about this time that seems like it is different in nearly every way. There's no normal that we can hold on to. And one of the things I've been wondering about is how we talk to God, how we understand God's presence with us in what seems like such a strange and difficult time. The Bible is full of stories of God's people who over and over again seem to find themselves in strange and difficult times. The story of the people of Israel follows their slavery in Egypt, their wandering in the wilderness when they leave Egypt and all sorts of periods in their life when they're not able to be, as they think of themselves, God's people in God's own land. You might well know Psalm 137, by the rivers of Babylon, where we sat, we wept when we remembered Zion. They are the words of Boney M's version of it that you might be much more familiar with. That psalm is about how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? How can we still remember who God is for us? How can we offer worship? How can we talk to God when the world around us is so unfamiliar? When everything we know has disappeared and we are amongst new people in a new place, in a new situation? And God's people have constantly asked that question. What does it mean to still say, we love you, God, we worship you, God, we thank you, God, for all that you give us when the world around us seems scary and strange and different and alien? And the Bible is also full of how people find the answer to that question, how they discover that there is nothing so strange that God can't be in it with us. How they discover that there is no land so far away or so foreign that God isn't present there. How they discover that the words that they have to talk to God, the prayers that they pray, the songs that they sing, are always enough to reach out and to connect with God who loves us. And that leads me to think of some other words from the New Testament in the end of Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 8, he says, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. These strange times, the threat of this virus, the dispersal of our communities, being apart from family and friends, the fear of finances, all of those things are real and can be scary, but they cannot separate us from the love of God. And for that, we give thanks. That means that we know that however useless our words feel, however small or stumbling, we can still talk to God. We can still thank God for God's goodness and we can still know that we are held in the love of God.